Wheeler County is the least populated county in all of Oregon and uh, our team reflects that. We put three high schools together from our three cities, Fossil, Spray, and Mitchell, to make one team, and it's just a six-man team. There's not very many people in our county, so you could say our county is our town, and we're all kind of like family. Spray, Fossil, Mitchell, everything in Wheeler County is just, it's a group of people that, that back each other. All of us either live or own ranches around here. Not a whole lot really happens out here, but when it does, it, it goes all the way. It goes big. From playing in the woods to fishing at the river or swimming, blowing stuff up, we can always figure out a way to have fun. <laughs> goal for this season is to win another state championship and we want to bring a back-to-back -back state championship to our town. We've only lost one game and we're hoping to not lose any more than that. Some people say they play football to have fun. That's not why I play. I play to win games. Our guys just like to hit. They're country guys, most of them, and it's just kind of a way of life to be tough. Our whole football team wants to run over the top of yours. Game started at 2 o'clock, a little bit different. Not playing under the lights, you're playing under the sun. Basketball on turf. I mean, it really is. It's basketball on turf. If you've got a couple kids who can run and you can design enough plays for the blockers to get out in front of them, they, it's track meet. We're really all like brothers, really. I mean, you see it all the time in movies and stuff like that about how Football brings everybody together, but truly it's amazing once you step on that field, the type of bond that you and your teammates have. Head northeast from central Oregon, and eventually you'll find yourself in Wheeler County, a county where people can be hard to find. There's more cows than people. That's pretty much the only way to put it. The entire county only has a population of 1,300 people, give or take. Everyone knows everyone. But what they do have is a high school football team that happens to be the reigning 1A Oregon State champions, the Wheeler County Rattlers. Last year, we had a really good team. We won state, we were undefeated. The Rattlers play a unique brand of football that's reserved for the tiniest of the tiny Oregon towns. Six man. All the linemen are eligible. There's no one on the field who's ineligible. So you gotta watch everybody. You can catch a pass. And the quarterback can't cross the line of scrimmage. It just adds a lot of diversity to the game, especially because the field is just as long. You still gotta go just as far. And a first down is five yards further than 11 man. It's 15 yards to get a first down. It's wide open. You try and get your best players out in space and let them do what they do. The Rattlers aren't the only team playing six-man football across the state, but they are the only team that has to combine three towns with three different high schools to field one six-man football team. It's a bit smaller than other schools and stuff, and we do six-man instead of 11-man or eight-man. The towns of Mitchell, Spray, and Fossil combine their schools, their resources, and their athletes make up the Wheeler County Rattlers. I live in between Spray and Fossil, about 30 minutes up in the middle of the woods, kind of out there in the middle of nowhere, on a dirt road. There's all kinds of unique challenges. Practices rotate from school to school, forcing players to be bused to and fro, up to an hour each way. Home games rotate fields. Friday night lights literally don't exist. Games start at 2 p.m. and are played under God's light and teammates might never attend the same school. But that's all the norm in Wheeler County. It's great, I mean, because our communities are so closely knitted together now because of sports and stuff like that. This is cowboy country. Don't believe me? Look for yourself. The football field in Spray is part of the rodeo grounds. Cattle chutes line the edge of the field. The rodeo arena 
flows right into the grass. And there's all kinds of quote-unquote home field advantages. Everybody hates playing here. There's always holes and horse manure out there and it's on an incline so first half you're going uphill, second half you're going downhill. Once a year we got horses and bulls and stuff in there trampling on our field and so there's a lot of holes in there, a lot of ankle twisters. You gotta watch out, they'll bite you. <laughs> the Rattlers are chasing another state title after going undefeated in 2021. Quite the turnaround for a team that had gone a combined 2-14 and 14 the previous two seasons. It was a lot of fun bringing a state championship to our town. That's the first one. We, we want to be confident, but not cocky. So. That, was, that was pretty crazy. I mean, so, I mean, it was definitely a great feeling. I mean, like we'd never done it before. It's game day in Spray. 2 p.m. kickoff, no school, pregame, standard stuff. Warm up, hit the locker room, and get that adrenaline pump. Taking the field, however, well, that's anything but standard. Horses and Harleys are the vehicles of choice for the seniors as they take the field. In the blink of an eye, the Rattlers put 30 unanswered points on the board. The team from Echo, Oregon, doesn't know what hit him. A quick scan of the crowd shows that a quarter of the county is in attendance, give or take. You look up in the up in the the audience and you know everyone. And the rest of the game is more of the same. When the dust and manure clears, the rattlers are victorious. Final score: 58 to 19. Games are electric. I mean, games are just, it's amazing. The support that we have from all three of these communities, it's, it's fantastic. The win moves the Rattlers to 6-1 and one on the season. It puts them one step closer to their ultimate goal, repeating the state champs and cementing their legacy and bond. Bringing dual championships in football this year would be very, very important to us as a town and a community because we've never had something like that before. Deschutes, Multnomah, Clackamas. Those counties might have the people, but Wheeler, they've got the cows, and they've got the kids with the character those big schools dream of. In Wheeler County, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News.